What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your guy, some, some, some. Hit the keys. Here today with a quick review and demonstration over Inspired by Soundpiece. I want to send a shout out to my guy Pierre over at Soundpiece for reaching out to me and seeing if I wanted to do a review on this plugin. Um, basically, what it is is it's an AI driven plugin. Um, it creates MIDI's for you, so it creates MIDI chords, it creates MIDI melodies for you, and it can create um, audio waves for you. So you can basically take those and chop them down um, and use them as samples. Um, you can sample a guitar, you can sample a piano, you can sample strings, and it makes uh, beats for you too, so that's pretty cool. Um, make sure if you guys like this content, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell, so every time we drop a new video, you can be the first to find out, but let's go ahead and get right into Inspire. Whoosh. Some, some, some hit the key. All right, guys, so I brought you to the website first. Um, this basically is a paid plugin. Um, you pay for a subscription with this, but you can try it out for free for seven days. Um, so all you got to do is come to soundpiece.co um, and then boom, sign up for the website. Um, and they do have a few things here that you can do. So they have, these all are in the Inspire plugin, but they have three different things. So they have one where you can find a song. Um, they have another one where you can find a song and you can remix the song. And so you can basically take that beat and you can remix it AI style. And then they have the Inspire, which is what we're gonna go through today. Um, and so once you get to that page, you're gonna come over here for Inspire plugins. Um, and this is what it's going to look like when you get it into your DAW. Um, here is the pricing that they have for the actual plugin. Um, so you can get a seven day trial. And with the seven day trial, you get unlimited song creation, the standard AI commercial license, and it's 100% royalty free. With the standard, it is 499 euro uh, per month. You get unlimited song creation, standard AI commercial license, 100% royalty free and unlimited downloads. And then they got the pro which you get unlimited song creation, advanced AI, uh, commercial license, 100% royalty free, unlimited downloads and unlimited storage. Um, it's basically a cloud-based um, plugin. So you will have to have the internet in order to use this plugin. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into the plugin in FL Studio. So when you pop into uh, whatever DAW you have, it's gonna look like this. Um, you'll have to enter in your email and your password every time you do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter that in and then I'm gonna skip right to the, the next part. All right, so once you log in, um, it's gonna look like this. Um, you can basically select the keys or anything like that, major, minor, sharp, flat, um, the tempo in which you want the MIDI to be, um, You know your MIDI or your audio wave, whether you wanna export a wave. With the wave, you can use these instruments. So you can use keys, strings, guitars, or electronic. Um, and then you can pick the style, whether you want it to be simple or complex. Something that I didn't mention at the beginning is what I actually did with the beat I'm gonna demonstrate is that you can remix an existing MIDI. So you can drop a MIDI in here and then you can have it AI generate and you can do it simple, short, or a complex version, long or short. Um, so I made a little beat. I actually dropped a MIDI in here. I've made like three beats with this um, plugin so far. So I think the plugin is pretty solid. Um, but I basically remixed a MIDI um, and that's what I got for the piano. And then I made the beat around that. So I'm gonna go ahead and start that so you guys can hear it. All right, so that's just a little beat that I made. Um, so now let's go ahead and get into the Inspire. Um, so with this plugin, um, what you can basically do is we'll make it to the tempo of the song and you can use this slider right here and that'll change the tempo for you. So it goes all the way down to 40 and it goes all the way up to 180. Um, but obviously you can drop it into um, your MIDI and it'll be whatever BPM that you drop it into. Then it's got the remix existing work down here. Now this is a, a curse and a gift at the same time. Um, I'll get into that a little more when we get to that section, uh, but let's go ahead and generate a MIDI so I can show you guys that. Um, so basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna decide what kind of MIDI that you want to um, 
generate. So I'm just gonna put it on keys. I'm gonna put it on style complex. And then I wanna generate a melody. So boom, we're just gonna generate a melody. It takes a few seconds. Um, but then once you generate that melody, all you have to do since the screen isn't vectoral is you're just gonna drag it up uh, to the, the channel rack. And then all you have to do is drop it on the piano or in the channel rack like that. And then it'll give you your melody right there. Um, so we have it on PAT, I'm just gonna push play. All right, so that one didn't sound the hottest. <laughs> uh, so we'll just go ahead and do it again. Because again, you can just keep generate melodies, generate melodies, generate melodies, generate melodies um, over and over again. Um, so we'll try the second one, see what it sounds like. So I'm gonna hop that up an octave. So again, that's not a bad start to a beat, um, but let's go ahead and do some more just so that you guys can hear some more different sounds. So this time we'll generate some chords. Same thing, just drag it up and drop. It's pretty easy. get some more so again it's got a whole bunch of different variety too so i mean it's just you know you can do this for a while and you can definitely get uh something that doesn't sound that bad for your for your beat to get a good start with and then you can play with it from there and you'll see it also changes the velocity down here um, so it's not bad. And then, you know, like all you might have to do is, you know, I'm all S strum it a little bit. So again, that doesn't sound that bad. Um, <clears throat> you know, another thing that's pretty nice about this is, um, so if you look into my playlist, you'll see that I have some waves down here. I actually generated these waves from the actual plugin. So this uh, is what one of the, the waves or audio files that they had. Now I kept that because it's like, I could probably uh, make a beat around that. I actually like the way that sounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to that. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys how you guys can export some samples and stuff like that. Um, so again, I don't know if these are randomly generated. I'm assuming that there's just a huge um, library of samples. Um, but what you have to do is click on audio file and then whatever it is that you want. So if you want, you know, some strings, uh, you'll click on strings and you can go complex or simple. Um, we'll just go any and generate a melody. And then once you get that melody, you're just gonna drag it up into the playlist. Um, so boom, we'll put it right here. Just get rid of that for a moment. And then this is what this is gonna sound like. That's a pretty dope sample that you could start a beat with. You can definitely make some kind of trap beat with that. Um, so again, that's not a bad feature. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll export a couple more. Um, so I believe that if you just go to any and you generate a beat, it'll bring up some drums for you. And we're gonna go ahead and drag that over here. So I could probably stretch this and I could probably make this fit. Uh, yeah, so you know what I'm saying? You know, you can start off a beat like that and then bam, now you can find some 808s. You know, you can flip this sample. You know, you can do all kinds of different things with this, um, you know, whatever it is that you want. So now we're gonna get to um, what I call the gift and the curse of the plugin. Um, so basically the gift and the curse with this plugin is this remix existing work because sometimes it will give you a nice little remix, but then sometimes 
it'll only give you like two bars and it doesn't even like do a remix. So, you know, um, we'll drop something in here. All right, so I'm gonna drop this uh, dream wave in here, okay? And so uh, I'm gonna raise it up an octave so it sounds better. So when I do export and when I do remix it, I'll raise it up an octave too. But this is what it sounds like originally. So it takes three minutes to remix the existing work. You have to choose file and then you have to um, find it basically in your folder. So, you know, it's on my desktop um, and then it's going to be in um, MIDI packs, uh, MIDI friend, uh, Dreamwave. Um, so then you have to click on it and then open. So I wish that you could just drag it and drop it just like you can drag everything out of this. You should be able to drag stuff into it. That would be a nice little update if they can make that update. And then if you make, um, you know, we'll just make a simple variation long. It takes three minutes to um, remix it. So the reason why I say this is the gift and it's the curse at the same time is that you can take an existing um, MIDI that you have that you may like, but you may not know how you want to sculpt it. And it may do some things to it. So like on the beat that I used, I dropped a MIDI in there and it was an eight bar MIDI. And then it extended the MIDI out for, um, to like 12 bars, which I thought was very dope. And then it made it a variation. So I got to cut certain pieces off and I got to move the MIDI around and I basically got to make chords that I would have never thought to put together. So that right there is a gift, but sometimes it, since it takes two to three minutes for the MIDI to load, you can lose motivation with making a beat because if it gives you something that's only two bars, you don't want to do it again. And then you've wasted six minutes and it might not remix it differently. So that would be something that I think that they should update. Um, and that really, that's my only negative about the, um, the plugin um, is that I just feel like they should be able to try to figure out a way to speed up this process and then kind of fail proof the, um, the MIDI only coming out to be in like two, two bars or something like that. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to stop for a second. And I'll come back when it finished up. Oh, it finished loading while I was talking. So um, I guess I must've talked for three minutes, um, but then we're just gonna drag it back up here and we're gonna drop it in here. And see, this is the, the curse right here because this time it didn't give me a fire MIDI. Now I know I, obviously it's gonna be randomized every time and I haven't listened to it yet. I know I gotta raise it up an octave, um, but you know, I would figure it would be a little more complex with what I just dropped in there. So, I mean, you know, uh, I'm not going to keep uh, hitting the remix button uh, to save you guys time. I know you guys only like to hear me talk so much uh, before you guys click to the next video. Um, but overall, I mean, I think it's a good plugin. Um, I do think that if they fix that remix part, this would be a super fire plugin, um, you know, but I'll definitely use it because I, like I said, I've made three beats in the last 24 hours. I've started off with the randomized MIDI. I wanted to get to know the plugin before I actually came to you guys and brought you guys a review. Um, and then I like the fact that you can get samples so you can get different uh, drum samples that you can layer in with your drums or you can get different samples that you can start a beat off with so on and so forth. Um, so, you know, I mean, would I recommend this plugin? I probably recommend um, checking it out. You at least get a free seven day trial. If you check it out, I'll have the link below in the description. Um, and, you know, you might like it. I personally do like it. So I appreciate the time you guys giving me today. You guys like this content, got something out of it, you know what to do. Reach back, drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell so every time we drop a new video, you can be the first to find out. Appreciate you guys' time today, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments. and. See you next time. Some, some, some hit the key.